Cleveland Brown Stadium in Cleveland, Ohio. I think they call it the dog pound. I consider myself a dog, so I'm right at home in that place. Let's go out and rock out. This is all we gonna ever need, right here in the circle. Let's go, let's ball out, man. Got the big ho, 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 ho. Every play, man, every time they move, put your hands on them. Our defense is balling right now. Back, back at the 25 yard line. Balling. Thompson Robinson wants to throw, has time, slings it oh. incomplete and intercepted at the 40 get up. yard line. It's Brandon Stevens with a pick, jumps to his feet, returns it across midfield, gets a block, 10-5, touchdown, Lamar! Let's go! Yeah. is hit and sacked, back at the three-yard line. Lobs it deep inside the 15, he's got a man, Zay Flowers makes the catch, fires back corner, look out, it is... Caught! Mark Andrews climbs a ladder and pulls down the touchdown! Oh. My God! Man, Brown! My God, Time is expiring, and it's all over in Cleveland. Let's go. You know we're doing two. One, two. Woo! This is Esteban Blue. He is a very strong dog, as you can see. Look how big his head is. You got a melon. You got a melon head. I've always been a dog person, so I uh, actually want a dog pretty soon, but I got to figure out logistics and all that. But this is what I get in the meantime until I do get a dog. I grew up loving dogs, loving animals. Um, my dog at home, her name's Nala. She's actually a rescue. Uh, she's been the best thing that happened to us. We just we were so happening to go to a grocery store one day when I was about seven, and uh, there was a little uh, doggy food store that had a bunch of puppies outside and uh, she had just been rescued from a basement that was flooded and uh, I begged my mom and she said yes and 13 years later she's still here. Let's go up this way. You going up this one? Yay! Nice. Nice. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay, we gotta go this way. That was a good job. That was a good job. Come on. He's athletic. Oh, yeah. Come on. Coming in, coming in. Say 130. Matt Gay's fifth field goal of the afternoon sends the Ravens to the loss column in overtime. Having these tests like this early in the season is. It's tricky because, you know, teams are still finding their groove, finding their identity. I think we're, we know what our identity is, but we also have to go out there and execute. These wins and losses at the beginning are gonna be very important uh, come December, January time. So uh, we gotta treat it like so. There's two very uh, formidable division opponents on the road, uh, hostile environment. So it's gonna be a tough test for us. All right, good to see you everybody. Appreciate you being here. It's a long season for a reason. It's a national football league and the one true champion will be the team that becomes the best team and proves himself to be the best team over the course of the season. You don't crown the champion in week three. They never have. And it's not going to happen this year either. So whatever you think about a team right now is fine. That's where it's at right now. It, it, it's all about where it goes from here, you know, and our guys understand that. And that's whether you win or lose. You, you know, we're happy last week that we won, but we know we got to get better. You know, we're disappointed this week that we lost, but we know we got to get better. You know, and that's what we're working on. Look, there's disappointment because it's clear they know they let one slip away that they should have won but you sense this urgency to get back out on the practice field do the things necessary to correct the mistakes really dial in on situational football all those things but most importantly just get back on a field on sunday and put that game behind them we had plenty of opportunities to win that game um, we was driving the ball down the field and we have mishaps uh, Got to just catch the ball, throw the ball, and do what we do best, you know, and put points on the board. And going into Cleveland, do the same thing, but better. You can't get caught up on one week or a couple stats. There's a lot of weeks in the season. You're going to have some good games, bad games, and you got to treat them the same. So refocus now, focus about the Browns, and going in there, hopefully get a win.
you go in there as the, as the enemy to go take over, and that's our plan, to actually go take over. I think they call it the dog pound. I consider myself a dog, so I'm right at home in that place, so I'm excited to get back in there, and I know they're a physical football team, but so are we. Going into a division game on the road early in the season, and this is one of those games that you often look back on in late December, and it kind of sets the path one way or the other. And the Ravens, after a loss like the one against the Colts, you have two options. You can falter or you can right the ship and set the tone going into two back-to-back -back division games. And I think that's something that the guys really stressed throughout the week. You know, this was a chance to really set the tone for what this season could be. You're considered a bad guy because you're going into essentially another man's house and you're trying to take over. Like his wife, kids, everyone there to watch them. So you we going over to beat their tails in front of their wife and kids. So when you think about it from that perspective, like any man's gonna, you know, fight to the death at that point. I know if that's me in that case, I know I would. If you look at this team in August and said after three games, they're gonna be two and one, most Ravens fans would take that. And look, this team, this organization, these players, they wanna win every game, understandable. But two and one is a great place to be after three weeks. Most teams in the NFL would take this. Up front, you guys got to do a good job with footwork and targets and keeping your leverage right. Everybody knows that. Let's be great today, get ourselves ready for Sunday. Love this quote. I didn't, I didn't even heard it. This, this is the coach of Michigan, all right? Name has to have, happen to have the same last name. But I've never heard him say this. I read this one time, like in the paper or wherever he said it. And I just think it's so true. This is after a big win. Hard pressed to think of anything better than to go into another team's stadium to compete against their team and their fans. And if you could throw in the elements too, if you could throw in cold or rain or some kind of weather, if you had to beat that as well and then come out the victor, there's nothing better in life than I've found. All right? Oh yeah, that's gonna be a good feeling come Sunday. All right, let's get ready to roll. Let's go out and rock out. This all we gonna ever need, right here in the circle. Let's go, let's fall out, man. Together on three. One, two, three. Yeah. Hey, I'ma die for the grind, hey. Yeah. If I'm alive, then I'ma shine. Yeah. Uh, I can't lie, man, it's time. Woo! Yeah, cause they be waiting on the sign. Yeah. Cleveland Brown Stadium in Cleveland, Ohio. Both teams arrive today at two and one. Let's go, boys. Weather is a factor today, but not the one you would normally think of. Clear blue skies, sunny, no wind, 71 degrees. We've never seen a matchup like this in Cleveland, idyllic to say the least. A little warm out here. Hasn't been this warm in a minute. It hadn't. Has not. It's a little heat, man. Woo! A little heat. Woo! Nice day. Nice day for ass kicking. No Deshaun Watson for the Browns. That changes everything. The game plan for Mike McDonald and what he had throughout the whole week doesn't change. From the jump, baby. From the jump. Setting that tone early, baby. Get your mind right. Get your mind right for a war. Intentional. Be intentional with everything today. Every time they move, put your hands on them. Let's play fast. Let's play physical. Bring your A game, man. Let's be some big dogs and own a line of scrimmage, man. Hey, dominate on two. Dominate on two. One, two. Dominate. Great opportunity for the Ravens to come into a hostile environment and play old school smash mouth football. Whoever can run the football, whoever can get a turnover, that's the team that's going to win. Rodney. Go, buddy. One play at a time, baby. Yeah, yes, sir. One play at a time. You got a rookie quarterback with a defense that is known to be aggressive and physical. That's a tough task. Thompson Robinson wants to throw, has time, slings it oh. incomplete and intercepted at the up, 40 yard up. line. It's Brandon Stevens with a pick, jumps to his feet, returns it across midfield, gets a block. Ravens 40, cut back at the 35, 30, has blockers at the 20, 15, and he's down to the 10 yard line. Brandon Stevens took the deflected ball and returns it to the red zone, and the Ravens have a scoring opportunity in front of them. 
This is... Let's go! Your first one, baby. Let's go! Oh. Let's go! Go! Oh, we're here! Yeah, baby. Yeah, Yo, what is that? Let's go! Yes, sir! Lamar Jackson in the gun. Fakes the inside hand up, he'll keep it. Runs it to the 10, five, touchdown, Lamar! And the Ravens jump in front in Cleveland. Ah! Let's go, yeah, baby! Yeah. Let's go! It is the first touchdown the Browns have given up at home this year in this, their third home game. Getting your first interception in an AFC North division game to really set the tone for what the rest of that game was going to look like. For a guy that his teammates have always spoke really highly of, but I think externally, he's really flown under the radar. And so for him to come in and say, like, I deserve to be a starter in the National Football League and really make a mark with his first interception in a big game like that was huge. You see this Browns defense in person, it all adds up. It is a legitimate defense. This is Cleveland's third home game. In their first two home games, they gave up three points combined. This is a great challenge for this offense to go out there and play against the number one defense, Lamar. Go out there and show them why you're so electric throwing the football and running it. Let's go, boys. Time to be epic. Jackson play action, steps up under pressure, throws across his body, complete to Mark Andrews. Slips the tackle to the 30, comes to the near sideline, 40, 45, still on his feet, midfield, and finally brought down in Cleveland territory at the Browns' 46-yard line. Mark Andrews, I didn't know Mark Andrews had that inning. Outstanding play by Mark Andrews. Oh my God, that was a hell of a play. That was a hell of a play. Holy sh yeah, Mark. He'll get the carry. He's got a gap. He's inside the 20. 15, 10, Melvin Gordon. And he takes it all the way down to the three-yard line. It's first and goal, Ravens. And a huge hole as Melvin Gordon enjoys his biggest run as a Raven. Lamar from the shotgun. Fakes the handoff. Runs to the right side. He's got a hole. Touchdown, Ravens. And Lamar Jackson for a second week in a row with a second rushing touchdown. Best drive of the day for the Ravens. Great job, Lamar. Good job. Hey, that's how it works against these guys. Once you get past the first round. We all made plays. Way to run the ball, bro. Where the f on the ball? Come on, come on, let's go, man. The patience is the key right there, all right? Take a deep breath, slow everything down, make sure everything's right, ball handling, everything you see, because once you get past their first barrage, in a given play, there's space back there. There's gonna, gonna be no game plays, three game plays, then there's gonna be 20, just like you guys have. They started the show right there. Great job. Snap. Snap. Hey, we can go faster than our get off, right? Faster than our get off, right? Not gonna, he's gonna throw right on time or he's gonna run. Right. So we can get him, I think, right? Yeah. Hey, let's go, defense! I think that the Ravens' defense specifically has always loved that villain role. Yeah. Somebody's gotta be what? <laughs> the villain. Someone's Somebody. gotta be the villain. The Ravens defense really just set the tone for the whole game. You know, the offense took a little, it was a little bit of a slower start there. It really took some time for it to truly get rolling, but the defense set the tone from the jump. How are you feeling, Trav? Winning your one-on-ones? Because football is all one-on-ones. Yeah, it's all right. Just focus on your technique. 
Hey, let's go now, let's go. Come on. Focus, boys, come on. Focus. Let's go. Come on. Right now, they would like to see if they can't get some more points on the board to close out this half. Steps up, lobs the ball near sideline. Gordon has it at the Browns 40 yard line. Tight ropes the sideline and is knocked out of bounds at the Cleveland 35. First down Ravens on a huge third down conversion. Let's go out! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Ho, 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 ho! Takes the snap, deep drop, steps up. Nothing there. Now he's in trouble, escapes to the right. Still looking downfield, lobs it deep inside the 15. He's got a man! Zay Flowers makes the catch at the Browns 12 yard line. Lamar Jackson finds the rookies and the Ravens are back in scoring range. Damn, bro, damn, bro! Damn! No way. So it is third down and six with 17 seconds left in the half. Come on, touchdown here would be huge. Lamar takes the snap, looking over the middle, pumps once, fires back corner, look out, it is caught! Mark Andrews climbs a ladder and pulls down the touchdown! Oh! I mean, Warren is right there, he goes up! That pass sailed about two inches over top of Denzel Ward, and Mark Andrews showing NBA vertical skills, pulls it down to the back corner of the end zone, Man Browns! Black Browns back and down! Yeah! Hell yeah, boy! Man Drews! That's how you go on top! Hell yeah, man! Hey, we're just getting started, all right? We're not done. And all of a sudden, the crowd is heading for the concession stands. It'll be interesting to see how many return for the second half. <laughs> I think this is the only stadium that has like blimps like that. Yeah. Have you noticed any other stadiums really? Like this one? Like what is in there? Just like the little, good just the little, right? like it's all, it's all air, right? And then just a little pilot box. 21-3, Ravens in front of the Cleveland Browns here in week four. Yes, it's been a while. We've been aiming for the highest heights, bright lights. Every morning to the night. And yes, there's been some pain. It's all in the game. We rise from the flames. And yes, you better make way. You're in our domain. We're staking our claim. I just feel like we're just getting started right now. Like, we're going to start wearing down these boys. Our defense is balling right now. Let's go, D! Off the play action, deep drop, under pressure, and sack back at the 25-yard line. Thompson Robinson was drilled by Patrick Queen. Patrick Queen came in relentless. Sack! Sack! Thompson Robinson throws across the middle, deflected, incomplete. Oh, and for a second time today, Roquan Smith had a hand on the ball and thought he had an interception. Roquan. <laughs> Bro, he is. He's so instinctive. He just like knows where the ball is going all the time. You drop it. Come on. You drop it. Go. You shut down that whole drive. Yep. You shut down that whole drive. Big time play. Good job on it. Good job on it. Good job playing on this. I got to come back. I'm ready for him. I got to come back. I got to come back. Hey, let's go now. Hey, there's still plenty of plays to be made. my bag when they were surrounding me. Y'all didn't want to help me out? I had the whole defense. Miles Garrett helped me out. He was just mad that I was like blocking him to the whistle. So then I turned around and showed me. He's like, man, why you gotta do all that? And then they all got my face. Where are my teammates? And then Miles helped me out. Miles pushed me out. I'm like, thanks Miles. Hey, it's about to be the fourth quarter. Let's keep having fun and finish this, all right? 
Thompson Robinson wants to throw, pocket collapsing, he is hit and sacked back at the three yard line. Broderick Washington dropping the Browns quarterback to the turf. Robinson throws down the middle of the field. This one is going to be intercepted. Geno Stone has it at the 25, crosses the 40, far sideline midfield. Pick, pick, cut it back this time. And the Ravens defense comes up big as they force the rookie, Dorian Thompson Robinson, to throw the ball deep. And Geno Stone with his second interception of the season. I don't want to say you feel bad for an offense at that point, but when the Ravens defense is operating that way, like there's just really no hope for an opposing offense. You start to see the fans just flocking to the exits when the defense is playing like lights out like that, and you just really can't get anything going. It's going real quiet here. It's almost dead, dead silent. We need one more. Yeah. I told you! I need like how many? <laughs> I said you need three. Well, I was gonna cut back and I was like, I was, uh, I was talking to you like, yo, come this way. You were gonna go out of bounds. You were gonna go out of bounds. When the defense is teeing you up to have those opportunities, great field position, you know, you really have to take advantage of those moments, and the Ravens offense was able to do just that. We're hunting, baby. Oh. <laughs> Let's go now. It's zero zero, that's the score. Put another one up on the board. Hey, hey, hey. Let's refocus this. Calm it down. Yo, player to the whistle, bro. Third down and nine. Lamar steps up in the pocket. Now he's got to run to the right. Check down pass. Ricard has it at the 30, 25, and he's taken out of bounds at the Cleveland 23. Jackson takes the snap, steps up, throws it complete. Andrews has it at the 10, 5, touchdown, Ravens. Touchdown! Touchdown! And with 5.56 left to play in Cleveland, the Hayes in the barn! Yeah, Mark! Hey, way to go, big dog. Oh, that was sweet. Yeah, that was sweet. That's how we drew it up. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, yeah. That's what I'm talking hey, about. Hey, you make a play, I make a play, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. My dog, good shit, bro. Woo! Bro, as soon as I saw you make that cut, I'm like, it's touchdown, bro. That dude's not tapping your space. I, lo I love this because the last, the last, what, two times we played them? The last time we played them, we didn't have Lamar. Yeah. And real empty now. Real empty. Ain't nothing speeder than doing this on the road. Ain't nothing speeder than coming on the road and doing this. Awesome. Awesome. After a game like the Colts game, it could have been really easy for the Ravens to take a step back, to falter, but I think that the ability to right that ship immediately and get back in the win column really talks to the character and, again, the depth of this team to be able to right this ship even when you are missing some of those key pieces still. Possibly the final play of the game. Pocket collapsing, he escapes, running to the right, tries to extend. Sets his feet, fires to the end zone. It is intercepted. Kyle Hamilton picks it off. Time is expiring, and it's all over in Cleveland. What's up, buddy? How are we doing? Good, baby. Doing well. Good. Yeah. good to see you, man. Hey, thanks for taking me out of that little scruff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got yeah, you. Yeah, I'm like, my teammates at? <laughs> I got, I got notes. I'm not going to forget anybody. But we got a first ever interception, a career interception for Brandon Stevens. Yeah. Hey, man. Hey, this was a team win. This was a team win. I felt like going to this game like we was the underdogs. I told the DBs, I said, hey, we got to rock out. We got to rock out. Hey, man. I appreciate y'all. Hey, scout team receiver. Hey, I appreciate y'all, man. For real, y'all get us ready for the games. 
And I'm not just saying that you say that, man. Y'all, y'all make us work. Y'all make us work. Appreciate y'all. Yeah. Another first ever interception. We had to wait the whole game for it. Kyle Hamilton. The guy, the guy, the guy is kind of like an unsung guy. Special teams, defense. Every time he goes in the field, he plays well. He does his job. He's, I, I think he's a great football player. Coming back home again, Malik Harrison. I ain't got much to say, but you know it's always good to come back home and you know get a dub. Uh, that's like, like like Coach said, we got 24-hour rule. Just enjoy this tonight. And then turn the page to when we get on there uh, Tuesday. Love y'all. He wasn't coming. He wasn't coming home, but he came back. You know where he spent a little time, you know, a little pit stop. Came back, made a statement all day long. Jadavion Clowney. Yeah. 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 I appreciate y'all, man. I love y'all, man. Let's keep going. Keep going to work. Keep prepared, man. Get ready for this big week coming up. Yes, man. sir. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hey, defensive player of the game. I mean. He said he was going to do it, and he did it. And everybody, knew, and everybody in that defense had his back, right? Everybody had his back. And he made a statement. Some, some, some people said tones. Some people said tones, right? A couple offensive balls, and we'll get the spike. Um, uh, this is gonna—it's gonna be a group game ball for these guys, okay? And the offensive line, you get your credit. The tight ends too, but these guys were carrying the rock, all right? They had the target on their back. The running backs. Yeah. The running backs. Yeah. Appreciate y'all, boys. Appreciate y'all. <laughs> offensive player of the game. You know, great players. Great players make everybody around them better. Great players make plays when they need the most. This guy's been doing it his whole career, continues to do it. I'm sure glad he's on our side. Love this guy. Mark Andrews! I got, you know, a couple things to say, man. Singular focus every week, getting better. But we got a lot of things we need to get better at. We have places we need to go. Lock in. Let's go. Yeah. All right. right there. Who, who closed the game out? The defense did. So on behalf of the defense, Mike McDonald, Mike you take this fight. Mike, 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 we said we needed one to close the game out. You closed it out. You got us. Gino! So I've been coming here for 15 years going to work, and there's one guy who works harder than everybody else, more passionate, determined, and he loves you guys. And today he got his 150th win in the National Football League as a head coach, John Harbaugh. <laughs> One thing I've learned over every one of these wins, players win games. Yep. We players win games, and players win championships. We got everything we need. We got players, we got coaches, we got character, we got heart, we got grit, you name it. We got it, all right? We just got to go take it. We got to go take it. Let's go. Bring it up. Come on. Come on. You got us. Hey, good work. Hey, good work, fellas. Hey. Enjoy this tonight, hey. But you know, know the bigger picture, man. But make sure y'all enjoy these. These wins are hard to come by, man. Hey, I wouldn't rather go to war with no one else. Family on two. Family on two. One, two. Family. family.